Hey, Tay here, so welcome to the Viactor channel. So it's a great day when we have new assets to talk about, but this one is a little particular because it's a kind of a shady situation where we don't really understand if something real that could actually happen or not. Because here we're talking about the new asset with the face tracking, eye tracking, hip tracking, finger tracking, 4K displays, 90 Hz, a wireless add-on, so pretty much everything top of the line for just $450 arriving May 2021. But let's give them the benefit of the doubt, shall we? Because at the end of the day, if this turns out to be real, well, this could be really groundbreaking. So let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So I decided to make this video, even if the situation is a little shady and we don't know anything about this company, we don't have any background of this company, even looking at LinkedIn, there's pretty much nothing. But the little startup with just 10 employees, it's because beside the great numbers and the great specs that these alleged headsets is supposed to have, also, they actually came out with really good ideas to solve some problems that we have in VR right now, and it seems like very good solutions so far. What they are lighting in this headset are the face tracking and the eye tracking. That is not really the same eye tracking that we saw in headsets like the Pico, or we are gonna see in headsets like the HP Reverb Omnicept Edition, but it's something that using a single camera, a wide angle camera with the purpose of actually understanding not just the position of the eye, a little bit, but also to understand really your expressions while you're talking. This is why they're marketing this headset and marketing is actually a big word because the only way we discovered this was to Reddit and just the two videos on YouTube. They didn't even share anything with any outlet out there. It's around the multiplayer, the presence in VR. And we all agree that when you are in a VR experience and the avatar are just like marble faces, well, nothing is very interesting over there. It's really hard to create a connection so they are using actually two cameras, one as we said, and another one to understand the movement of the face. And they actually have a video about it to see what they are working on, to understand with the neural engine and AI the position of your mouth. And of course, if you're smiling, open it, closing it, tongues out and stuff like that. So uh, it's very compelling experience from what we saw from the demo as well. Now, we don't know if the demo is real. It looks very, very good, to be honest. And that made me very excited and interested in this product, but again, we have to take it like a, a, a little cautious over here. And the other super interesting thing that we saw is actually a new solution for locomotion in VR. Because yes, locomotion is a big thing to solve. Now we're using a thumbstick like we're used to regular video games in flat screen, for example, uh, turning left or right, and then the movement can be related to your head, that is not really something that I personally like, but some people do, or to your the position on your end. That, that by the way, little curiosity was created by the creator of Onward, the word game that we have on the Oculus Quest now. So it's very interesting that that became actually the standard. Now, it works very well for motion sickness because it really helps to give you a direction. And they decided actually to go a step forward and instead of just relying on the position on your end, we know that sometimes when you aim down, for example, is not perfect to rely actually on a little puck that you're gonna put on your hip that is gonna understand the orientation of your hip and then translate it in game. That means that you're gonna be free to move your hands around, you're gonna be free to move your head around and go wherever you want, still using the thumbstick at the same time. So a big applause there because I think it may actually work. Now I'm a little concerned about this pack because if they're using accelerometers, usually we have some drifting over there and we have to see how they're gonna deal with drifting, having actually the locomotion moving in that direction because in then you have something that doesn't really correspond well, it will create even more motion thickness. But hey, we're talking about something that we don't even know if it's real. So again, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. But so far, solution approved for sure. Now, why I'm a little skeptical about it? Well, mostly for the tech that we have over here, because this seems like everything brought to the maximum when it comes to technology in a virtual reality headset, and the price is just $450. That seems a little unreachable, to be honest. Now, you never know what is gonna happen, but well, when you're talking about two 4K display, like the HP Reverb G2, 
at 90 Hz. That's already impressive. We're talking about four cameras for the inside out tracking, plus the two cameras inside for the eye tracking, face tracking, and mouth tracking. Two controllers that are very similar to the Oculus Quest controller, for example, but we saw that they became pretty much a standard, but also with finger tracking over there. So the ability to understand when you squeeze the controller and of course, every single finger, like we saw on the Valve Index. And by the way, just the Index controllers are $250, so... <laughs> All right. <laughs> and this wireless module that they are saying for $50, there's gonna give wireless how it's gonna work because we know that with the Vive Cosmos, for example, to have a compelling virtual reality experience wireless with PC VR, we need a six gigahertz connection and the cost of the module is around $250. And I talked personally with Display Link, who creates the module and it's actually very complicated to make. So can a startup with 10 people actually deliver something like that for May 2021 and all of that for $449? Now I'm in the virtual reality world for a while and we already saw something like it. It was called Pima. Then Pimax delivered part of it, but still, right now, we don't have all the modules that we're talking about. Some got canceled, like the wireless module. And, you know, we have a company that, yes, works, yes, creates great headsets, but at the end of the day, still struggles with the software and to make it possible to have a great experience for everyone, for the regular consumer. There's still a work in progress, and we're talking about already three years past. So expecting something directly in May will be kind of important possible, I think. But hey, again, if this starts out to be real, it's gonna be super exciting. We really need uh, prices to go down for virtual reality headset for PC VR. At least we have great prices, by the way, with the HP Reverb 2 already, and more competition will be just be better and better. Now we have face tracking, uh, we have eye tracking, we have like a frown tracking, something like it. And it's super interesting because we already saw this kind of stuff coming with the Omnicept edition and they're doing pretty much the same thing over here for a lower price. Now, is it real or not? Well, that's something that I can't know already and I'm gonna keep you updated on that, of course. I'm trying to get in contact with them so we can know more about this new headset. So should you book it, pre-order and something like that? Well, probably it's not a good idea yet. Uh, everything seems a little up there on the air. But as I said, I'm gonna let you know in the future, of course. But anyway, guys, this is the video. Are you interested in something like that? Would you like to see these uh, coming to the market or not? And do you actually believe this is coming to the market? <laughs> let me know in the comment below. And as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, just like. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love the channel, there's a join button down there, a little down further, the Patreon that I have prior access to videos. And a new one is actually over there already that is not out. And we also have the t-shirt sticker, Max 2020 item number one down there. So check them out for sure. But anyway, guys, again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching.